Hello, uh, everybody. Welcome to another edition of We Table It, uh, where we dissect, um, you know, issues and inspire change. And uh, basically, you are on the site where we talk about social issues uh, that we find interesting and that we hope you will find interesting as well. So if you're joining us for the first time, you're very, very welcome. Uh, we ask that if you are joining us, that you like and subscribe to our pages. We are across all the most popular social media platforms, including Facebook, where we are now, uh, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, TikTok, and Twitter. And all you need to do is search for We Table It. And uh, yes, we welcome you uh, to our talk today. We're going to take a minute or two to allow other people to join us in our call. And uh, as we do that, I'll let you know a little bit about We Table It. Um, so we are a platform that have been holding passionate and interesting discussions over the past few months, and we intend to do so for a considerable time in the future. And really uh, what we touch on is hard hitting and interesting social issues uh, that we believe that you can tap into and learn a lot from. Uh, and so that's one of the things that we're going to be doing today as we bring our topic of the day to you. And just a reminder to like and subscribe uh, to our content. And um, today I am Valerie Siganga, joined by my co-hosts Osara Aigbogun and Eno Vwire. And a uh, warm welcome to you guys as well. And uh, looking forward to an interesting and fun talk this afternoon. And yes, oh my goodness, when it comes to juicy topics, I don't think one is more interesting or more juicy uh, than what we have to share with you today, because it revolves around money and making money. And so we know that this is something that you really want to tap into. And our topic today is from broke to boss. And we want to look at how Africans are making money online and on different platforms we've been hearing about and witnessing Africans who are becoming financially free and prosperous basically by using online platforms, online tools, and the power of being able to create content to make it when it comes to their finances. And uh, we welcome you to joining us for this topic. So um, if you're joining us now, uh, we welcome you. Thank you for jumping into this call. And uh, we look forward to having an interesting, really interesting discussion with you. Now, a few tips on how you can share with us and give us some insight. Uh, if there's a comment that you'd like to make or something that you'd like to share, you can either comment in our private chat section here on StreamYard, or you can leave a comment on Facebook, on YouTube, or on Twitter. We will be able to react immediately to your comment and have you be a part of the discussion that we are sharing today. All right, so if you have any questions at all, please uh, post them in the comment section on any of those platforms, being Facebook, uh, YouTube, or Twitter, where we are currently live. All right, so um, let me uh, just sort of start off this topic by taking a look, you know, at what does the climate look like online? for different creators, okay? So we have a range of different creators creating African content on different social media platforms. You're more likely to see this content on platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, where Africa actually seems to be setting trends and taking things by storm. And so we look at what are the statistics like in terms of what's happening in Africa and on the internet and with content. First thing that is really important to note when we think of Africa and content creation is the speed with which our populations are growing and coming of age where they're able to create and access content. So statistically in over 40 African countries, more than 50% of the population is under the age of 20. 
Now, why is this important when we're talking about content creation and audiences? You know, it's because basically what is coming out strongly across the world is that the youth are the people who are driving creative endeavors, driving creation, driving trends. So the large, in Africa, a large amount of the continent is the youth. So it is safe to say an almost automatic like, yes, that's why Africans are responsible for really uh, driving content and creating new content. And most of the users that we see online and people who are creating content fall within two main age groups. That's mainly Gen Zs or millennials. And you're likely to find them on TikTok and Instagram. So that's one of the reasons that we're saying it's important to have discussions Africa and where we are as Africans when it comes to that booming online economy that we're all looking to get a slice of. And um, over the past few years, I think there's been a mentality that creating content online is a way that you can get rich quick. So um, let me give you a bit of my idea of what that looks like. Uh, many times the creators who stand out the most are favored by algorithms and are sharing their lifestyle, share opulence. And it's easy to make the association that, oh my goodness, if you are opulent, then what it means is that you've made a lot of money, that you're able to show us your opulence, that you're able to show us your shopping in designer stores, that you're able to show us your fashions, your clothes, your entertainment, all of these things, and the assumption is made that as a result of your content creation, you are therefore rich. But um, I think there is one, one, I don't want to say anomaly, but person who's challenged this and shows that it's actually not a get rich quick scheme, but it takes years of work. And then if you are lucky, you know, you can actually branch out and create something that takes the world by storm. Um, so in saying that, um, I'd just like to ask um, anybody who's watching, who is the most famous African content creator that you know? So now take a minute uh, to think about that. The most famous African content creator that you know, all right? And while you're thinking about who that person is, you can also think about what is it that they have done as an African content creator that makes you aware of who they are and know them. And uh, for me, the most famous African content creator that I know is Kabi Lame. I hope I'm saying his name correctly, uh, but that's the most famous one I know from TikTok, Kabi Lame. And so why do I know him? I mean, I think I watched many people referencing his videos even before I actually saw his content. And then I saw his content and it just came in at the right time uh, when we were all at home during COVID and it was interesting to watch. And why he's famous, he quickly rose up in terms of the number of followers that he has on the platform. And uh, what made him actually stand out from all the different content creators, doing exercise videos, going shopping, eating, you know, those mukbang videos, what made him stand out? And I think it's, he offered something really simple and really unique that needed no language. He was not talking to anybody. He was not dancing or singing. He was simply making a gesture one gesture and the way he used that one gesture made a difference around the entire world so when i think of um people who have gotten rich from social media i think of him but if you really do look into his story it didn't start with one video he was really actively creating content before he locked out something happened and he blew up you know so that is the opportunity that's there. And he is really a fantastic success story. And uh, why it's important to note him when you're thinking about your own content creation journey is he was able to really deliver value. He figured out how to create value. Somebody bought into it. 
And he successfully continues to this day to deliver that value, never veering too far from what allowed him to win. And also using his personality and persona to create sustainable businesses for himself, where he's able to generate money outside of content creation. Um, so this topic is very uh, interesting for me. I hope you can tell. I will give my uh, co-host an opportunity to jump in and uh, maybe share as you as I'm going through, who is that African that you know online for content creation and why are they standing out for you? So here, Eno or Osaro, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Valerie, uh, for introducing today's program which by the way is very captivating and exciting. And I believe has very strong and significant implications for youngsters out there in Africa who are looking out to be empowered and to do something for themselves. Right out, I will say um, my, the person that I will, I will really say stand out for me is someone I've been following for a long time and and that's why I was so shocked. I mean, I couldn't tell uh, the difference from when he started out to when he just blew up. I mean, it was just within a twinkle of an eye, although I'm pretty sure persistent hard work was put into this. This guy, and I'm going to tell his name later. I stumbled upon his video some years ago, many years ago, uh, in China. He was uh, a student in China. I'm not so sure he was an exchange student, but I want to believe that he was doing his undergrad studies. And why was I stumbled upon the video on YouTube? By the way, he's a YouTuber, although he's got his presence on, on Facebook with a, with a large audience too. And, but what captivated me was an African from West Africa, Ghana precisely, speaking the Mandarin language so almost near perfect that he was outstanding the local Chinese in China. And he he was mesmerizing them. He was going around, seeing how he could use his mastery of the Mandarin, the Chinese language, to get girls easily. And to be quite honest, he was doing a good job at that. <laughs> of course, that was the side that really, you know, captivated me. And he started out with all these fun videos. Now, fast forward to the last few years is making money in the millions of dollars. His name is Wode Maya. And he makes money by traveling around the world. I mean, what could be better than that? Combining business with extreme pleasure. Someone loves to travel and people are watching him travel and having fun. He has gone into almost the non, I mean, the most forgotten part of the world, Suriname, the Caribbean islands, almost every country there, shooting. Oh, it seems we have a short uh, network interruption from Osaro. Uh, we'll give you a moment. Let me just come in. Yes. Um, yeah. As he's jumping back in and sorting that out, Eno, uh, you can go ahead and share. Okay, so All right, I'm quite excited to be here today. This is going to be a value-packed session for those of you who are watching us. You are welcome once again to yet another interesting edition with us on We Call It. All right, so Valerie is asking which of these content creators have stood out for me. Okay, I would look at um, two. One from Uganda, and can see me. I don't know if I pronounced that mm -hmm. correctly. Um, that is in the area of comedy. She's one of the um, pace setters, I would say, with a very large following on YouTube. You know, uh, these are things that people just do for fun. I'm very sure that every one of you have maybe one or two persons in your family who is quite um, uh, yeah. humorous, very funny. And she's taking this opportunity to um, mark 
prepared herself, market her talent, and she's doing well. She's been on for a very long time. Kansimi has been on for since uh, forever. And we have one um, set of comedians in Nigeria that are beginning to really come out. I never knew they were existing until someone brought my attention to this very funny um, guys. They have a lot of um, viewers. They are Akban and Oduma. They can be very, very funny. Uh, yes, a lot of uh, followership. And trust me, they're making uh, a lot of money from posting these videos that they have created. These are short videos that they've created. Yes, a lot of them have come out. We are having lots of comedy from West Africa. We see a lot of them. Um, uh, the names have skipped me as I speak, but as we go, when I remember, I, I will bring them up uh, and we'll discuss about it. Yeah, Africa is coming up and some other parts of the world, uh, Asia, America, content creation is the thing. I don't want to go uh, further because I don't want to begin to unveil what we have for today just yet. Uh, so as we go on, we'll begin to talk about uh, content creation and every other aspect of monetization um, and how you can make more online please stay tuned oh to you, thank you Eno. oh my gosh you reminded me can see me she's been here for years and years and years uh we watched and followed can see me yeah. and he was uh i think for me in this comedic space like a pioneer of it and of showing us content that we could relate to and laugh at and laugh with her as well from Africa. So yeah, that's really uh, something mm. interesting. And um, yeah. I see that Osaro has been able to reconnect. Um, so Osaro, I know you were making a point and um, something happened with your connection. I'm hoping you can hear us well now. Okay, I think, ah, there you are. Uh, are you able to hear us well? So, Osaro, I yeah, think Yeah, I think he's experiencing some network. Yeah. Yes, we can hear I am, you. Yeah, so I'm experienced. Please go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry for the break the other time um experiencing some unstable network at the moment um i'm not so sure how far you ladies have gone but i was talking about wode maya uh, the other time a youtuber content creator from ghana and uh, who is making money by just enjoying his life traveling around the world and people are watching him okay so for me he stands out amongst uh, loads and loads of other people and there is a young guy, uh, I mean, in Nigeria, his name is Tayo Aina, and he's doing something similar, and he seems to be coming up really fast also. Yeah, oh, so, you so know, that's the, the, you... the person that stands out for me. Thank you, Sarah, for sharing those. And um, when you shared those, there's something interesting that just came to mind for me in terms of these African content creators. And I think one of the things uh, that's interesting to consider, even as we go on with the talk, is how do algorithms work such that the content actually reaches everybody? Because I know Kansime being from East Africa, she's in Uganda, um, so I get to see her content. But when it comes to content from Nigeria, um, my exposure is actually limited. And I think uh, what it needs is if I have a friend from Nigeria and it pops up on their timeline if they share or something like that. So I think also the algorithms have an effect on what it is we're able to access and watch uh, when it comes to African content. Um, so yeah, just a thought uh, thrown in there. Um, so as we move uh, forward, um, there's something I've noticed, uh, which I think is worth discussing about where is content going uh, when it comes to African and global creators. And uh, I look back at when I really started to absorb content um, online from African creators, which was from basically the COVID period when suddenly there was, I'll say, a little more time 
to spend enjoying content. And a bulk of the content was um, around lifestyle. So people showing their homes and their possessions, there was content around fashion, and there was content around music and dance. As, and then, of course, comedy. Comedy has been there for the longest time. Uh, when I look at content now and what I think are emerging trends when it comes to content, we have a storytelling that is really taking center stage. But it's not just storytelling, it's how people are telling their stories. Uh, so we've got storytelling has been there where people share through platforms like ours, which where we do live shows, which continue to this day. And we've got people who just come out online and record a video telling their story. But in the world of making money online, it needs you to go a step above simply telling your story. And so I'm going to mention a trend uh, that I've noticed that started off on TikTok. And I'm seeing other content creators around the world picking it up. And this is not so much an African trend, but I will share how it is showing up in the African context. Uh, so a few weeks ago, um, there was a lady in America on TikTok who started a story uh, that was called Who TF Did I Marry? And that story uh, was a long story. And she basically started with part one and went all the way through to part 50. I'm assuming that with each part, the people who are engaging with the story, it's sort of gaining momentum. And then she's able to get a large amount of viewership and listenership from sharing her story in that way. So effectively, what she did was tell a very long story over very many videos. But quite frankly, the story could have been summarized into something shorter. Um, but what it is revealing is that there is a trend that is now emerging about how people create content and get views uh, so that they're able to benefit from money-making opportunities online. And um, I know that one of my co-hosts will touch uh, a little bit later on how this actually translates into money in the bank or money in your pocket. Now, um, there's another content creator in Africa, and I tell you, uh, it's one I'm guilty of following uh, avidly <laughs> without fail. Uh, and that's a content creator who's called Emma Chinedum Comedy, or Mr. Aloy. And uh, what he does is he releases a drama series. Um, so the way that the drama series is released is every two days, there's a new episode that comes out online at a fixed time every day. And each episode is between, I think, nine and 15 minutes long, some a little shorter, some a little longer. But what he has managed to achieve is to tell one story over the period of about a year with people logging in every two days to watch the latest episode. And he has an audience that stretches outside of Africa. When you look at the comments, you realize that there are people all around the world who are actually watching his content. So he's managed to create something that leaves people hungry for the next episode, hungry for what next. And that's something that's important to uh, note, I think, when creating content. What is it that people are waiting for to tap into so that they are able to really engage with your content. And uh, we do have a comment, so I'll just share a bit of what's in the comments. Uh, we've got Sinzori Rupia, who's sharing with us that other uh, content creators include uh, Crazy Kenna from Kenya, Charity Ekezie from Nigeria, and Rose in China, who's a Ugandan woman uh, married to a Chinese man. And I think I've been lucky enough to watch most of this content. And yes, uh, it's interesting, it's engaging, and it keeps you coming back for more. And so I will then come back to uh, my co-hosts, Eno and Osaro, uh, when it comes to trends and what people are sharing online and how they're packaging their content so they can make money. Uh, what are some of the things that you have noticed are happening online?
Well, uh, you want me to come in now, Valerie? Yes. Not, yeah, please so. do. All right. I, I mean, uh, by virtue of my job, I interact with a lot of young stars. And I remember about two weeks ago, I, I, I asked them, uh, so, I mean, these young stars are mainly Gen Z's, you know? All right. So I asked them individually, what do you want to I mean, pursue as a profession in the future? And I got startled to reality. I mean, it looks like I was taking many things for granted because a number of them just jokingly or seriously said content creation. And I was like, wow, yeah, things are really changing, all right? Content creation uh, seems to be the ideal job for a lot of people now. You don't do, you do what you love doing, you live your life and show it on TV or show it over social media and people are happy watching you and you're making money. There is this guy, <laughs> and I don't know if I should be ashamed to say this, because I, I went to search him and I saw he has a huge following. His name is Kai Sinat. He is a black American. And I, I stumbled upon his video because he, he was just uh, coming into Nigeria in West Africa. And he was coming from the US. And at first, I mean, I saw him walking so briskly, happy, like feeling like a star. And I'm like, who is this guy walking into Nigeria airport? feeling like a star because he's coming from America or what? Uh, he felt, I mean, a lot of people were getting, but I kept looking and I found out that he, he was actually a star. A lot of people came to welcome him from the airport. And there was even a guy who drew his photo with a pencil and also with a painting, all right? And handed it over to him and told him, all I need is a laptop and I'll create amazing content. I was like, wow, this guy, I'm going to do a lot of, check on him so i did a background check on him and i saw a video that he granted a youtuber and at some point during the, the conversation he was asked how much he makes from content creation and you wouldn't believe that just from one platform alone he makes about four hundred thousand dollars monthly i was blown away <laughs> i mean if i make that in a year that would be like an ideal for me, but he makes it in a month, you know. And and I I, I got I, recently I've been brought to reality that things have drastically changed, and I have been taking a look at a number of success stories, and I'm amazed how many Africans have cashed in on these online opportunities and are creating beautiful contents. So if you're out there, who if you're a young star out there and you think the nine to five is not for you, you have, you, you can showcase your lifestyle and you have a platform, please go for it. Go for it. Go create the contents, showcase your lifestyle, and it will pay your bills if you are persistent. And, and this is going out there. I'm not so sure if I could, I should say this now at this point of our program, but I don't want to I mean, forget about it or get kicked out of the program because of bad connection. And I don't get to say this. If you're out there and you think you have amazing content, really amazing content or ideas, and, and you think is what, um, you know, showcasing, uh, you can reach us and we table it and we have a conversation, a discussion about it. And you never know, we, we may be able to promote you and discuss some, you know, some details that will be mutually beneficial for us. Right, I just had to say that here. It came to my mind now. All right, so but I'll I'll, I'll stop talking here, and uh, perhaps um, later on I'll be given another opportunity to make some more contributions. Valerie, over to you. <laughs> oh gosh, thank you, Sarah. Sorry, I was muted for a moment. Uh, I'm going to uh, jump to you, Eno. Uh, just to ask um, your thoughts on any trends or anything that you've seen emerging in the world of content creation online and uh, in Africa.
Oh, I know you're muted. Since dear apologies for that. I just kept on talking. Okay, so uh, the trends right now, <laughs> because what is most important is we want to make money. Everyone wants to to make money. Uh, there's no point wasting um, data online and not getting anything. I just showcase it. There's so many ways. We'll talk about that in depth. But uh, for now, what we have seen is a lot of people coming out in the comedy industry, uh, that's the entertainment industry. We have a lot of them coming out. Uh, doing um, music, um, those who do not even have a record label yet are not signed up in a, a record label. They just come out with their uh, singles or their albums and they just put it out there. Uh, it, it is easier now than it was before to become a star. Okay, I'll go redeem how these things uh, go and I mean the reach of um, your contents. It's it, it, you, you'll be so marveled that uh, whatever you post can even get as far as China, as far as um, what they call these countries. You know the far parts of the earth. So yes, there are lots of people who are hungry to see what you have, to see your content. I mean, the world is bored lately. Uh, a lot of people are going through in this part of the world some economic hardship, and yes, a little distraction. Uh, uh, via entertainment would help. So a lot of people are on their screens. A lot of people are with their mo mobile phones. And yes, everything that's just filtering in from Facebook, from uh, Instagram, all the social media platforms, yes, they consume them. So yes, you have lots of consumers of contents these days. And people are channeling whatever they have to suit these audiences and make money from it. it will surprise you to know that people make like the uh it was said about someone making as much as three hundred thousand dollars monthly yes that is very very achievable if you know what you are doing within the space of uh six months to a year if you know what you are doing trust me you will be hitting close to that mark i don't want to uh, make it too ambiguous you would hit close to that mark yeah so um we'll still go further i just want to uh, stop here. I'll come back later. Add more to this. Oh, thank you, Eno. Um, oh my goodness! As you were speaking, the same thing that you said that uh, has actually been a revelation for me, and uh, that is there is a massive audience that is hungry for your content. Okay. Um, I think sometimes, as uh, in the creation of content, you forget that there are a lot of yeah yeah so i was saying something about the millions or billions of users of uh mobile phones and those who have access to social media platform they are in millions and um they can spend uh, 10 minutes on average five minutes on average to watch your content now for every um one thousand uh, i mean one million view i learned at so the last time I checked, it's I don't know if it's recent, you get as much as um dollars for every one million views. And I know some people like the uh Mr. Alloy, but uh, they make they make more than that because once the video comes out every day, before an hour they are having million views. So yes, it is very possible for you to make millions on social media if you know what you are doing. Uh, yes, that is very true. And uh, something ties into what Osiris said earlier um, as well. It's possible, but it requires you to be consistent. And as you have said, Eno, you need to know what you're doing. So if you're a content creator, you need to take time to understand how other content creators are actually doing what they're doing and posting and what consistency looks like for you so that you can take advantage of that and be able to you know, really capitalize and make what you deserve to make when you are creating content online. Um, so yeah. yes, today I'm going to, as I wait for uh, Osaro, yes, he is reconnected. Um, 
Oh, Sarah, one of the things I'd like you maybe to share with us is when it comes to podcasts in Africa, do you let us know a little a bit about the trends in this space and their popularity in general? Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you very much, uh, Valerie. Yeah, um, podcasting is gaining a lot of popularity in Africa. And although it's getting very popular now, but it doesn't mean it just started now. It's been there for for many years now, but it the popularity is just mind blowing now. And I want to believe that this is because of increasing urbanization, and of course increasing access to the internet by almost everybody. Uh, yeah. So um, the, this demand uh, is really. Um, uh, significant for uh, business and e-commerce and the youths who are looking to create contents. I would also want to say that education largely is impactful uh, for this rise in popularity of podcasts. I was reading recently and I found out a study was carried out which shows, and this is amazing, right? It showed that approximately 40% of more educated audiences in urban South Africa are engaging with podcasts. That's a very large you know, uh, percentage. And, and this is coming out of South Africa. I'm gonna believe that uh, you know, similar statistics are shared with other African countries. So um, the, this trend is, I would say, is very encouraging. And it, it's something that I think will keep growing on and on and on. Another thing is that uh, one of the reasons why I would say the podcast is uh, getting more popularity these days is because we have more avenues uh, in which these podcasts are deployed. We've got the YouTube, got people doing so well you know, deploying their podcast on YouTube platform and uh, and other similar platforms. So, um, and this is uh, going out there to other Africans uh, who are thinking about not only the content to create, but a platform to showcase it. Podcasting, I will, I will say from a little research is being Big time, and I'm pretty sure Anna knows about this, and she's gonna give us tips about how to overcome yeah. any barriers that may prevent us from, you know, uh, carrying out our entrepreneurial drive when it comes to uh, podcasting, and and the different I mean ways that people are also doing well in podcasting these days, and uh, and. It's like burning a leaf from uh, the traditional conventional business models, and that is collaboration. You find out that um, you have a list artists, almost every all of them coming out from Nollywood, coming out from other. I mean, the music industry. It, it's more like a trend right now that those of them who are no more. I mean, doing active music or movies, going to create a podcast, hosting other people to come and talk in their shows. And that is also generating a large following. You, you can look at the numbers on YouTube. I mean, just one way you can do it, go to the subscriber base and go to the likes, the number of views, and you'll be amazed at how a simple talk show in the comfort of your room, under a chilling atmosphere or a chilling condition, can gather a large following and make us lots of money. I mean, it's like this this was definitely not possible many years ago. You want to talk with people to, to people, you want to reach people even in a forgotten part of the world, you need to travel and meet them. But now people are finding ways to get people to meet them in the comfort of their rooms. And podcast is one of such ways that I find Africans doing so well in it. There are numerous examples out there. 
uh, the good thing about this this program today is that it's going to be spiced up by uh, tips coming from Enor, coming from Valerie, about how we can leverage and these opportunities as youths globally and specifically in Africa to make some good money for ourselves. So yeah, uh, that's about podcast uh, making its way uh, from the continent of Africa. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Osaro. And I know I'm coming to you. I know there's something you uh, want to share about monetiz my, uh, monetization. Um, but just as we come there, there's also another type of video that I think is coming out. Um, not so much, I've not seen it so much in Africa, but around the world, uh, which are reaction videos. So somebody will show themselves watching something and they're reacting to it and we're watching them, watching what they're watching and reacting to their reactions. So it's just another way that people are finding to make money uh, online. And, yeah. uh, and the, Great. Yes. Valerie, <laughs> it's good that you said this. <laughs> Absolutely correct. You know what? I'll, I'll say something. The first time I saw that, I thought it was a mistake in the video. This was about two years ago. I was like, what's this person doing? <laughs> I can hear what's going on. Why are you telling me? But it, it is gaining a lot of popularity and it seems to be the norm now. So I did some digging out and I found out this originated from Japan. All right. So there were just Japanese variety shows and they were, I mean, the reactions started gaining popularity in Japan on platforms like YouTube and TikTok. And then it started to spread like wildfire. And you can find many videos in Africa now. And you see people reacting to them. Of course, some in a very weird and uninteresting manner. But you find some that uh, they, they just make the video more interesting, you know. And, and, and that is uh, coming to the ingenuity part. People making do without how creative and ingenious they are in spicing up the content that has been created by some other people. And because, you know, there is no um, uniform uh, policies or regulation of social media globally, almost anybody can do almost anything now. And I will say it is a competitive, a competitive atmosphere that is helping to showcase creativity without boundaries. Yeah, so th this is, this is, thank you for reminding me about this, uh, you know, Valerie, reaction videos. You know, you can create content without creating the content yourself. So <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, it's, it's getting more and more it's interesting correct. on our landscape online. Very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. And thank you, Asaro. Uh, gosh, Eno. Talk to us about the money. Yeah. So, <laughs> let us tell us about yeah, monetization. We, we want to hear the money. Enough of talk. Give us how to make the money enough. Yes. <laughs> Looks like Anna is counting. No. Can you guys hear me? I wish. Anyway, we are talking about money. <laughs> All right. So we've been talking to highlight a few other ways, not a few, some many other ways you can make money online, aside from creating content. Now, a lot of people are camera shy. They can't come face the camera, um, crack jokes, or even do the review video that uh, Valerie just spoke about, that's a um, reaction video. People are shy. They can't do that. So there are other ways you can make money. Text survey. Go ahead. Do your, um, you know, just design one little app that can be very useful. You know, I was with uh, some kids and I realized that the kids of these days, they are so into um, the, your laptops, uh, your phones, your mobiles as the parents. You can't put your mobile phone down picking it up. So 
yes, there are programs on the phone that can engage them, softwares or apps like um, the games they play, um, you know, some that are actually intellectually stimulating for kids. Yeah, you can design them some mathematics games, some quizzes, uh, things that has to do with um, uh, map um, countries, whatever it is that would interest kids and then get them informed. Yeah, you can design that if you are not the type that can come up. I will still tell you some other um, ways you can make money. Digital product, if you are the type that knows how to write, uh, you can go ahead to write an ebook. There are so many platforms where you can put your ebooks and people will buy. Amazon is one of them. Uh, you just write, um, be a self published author. You don't need to go get this book uh, published by this large um, book houses or publishing houses. Uh, you can just write interesting things. You know, funny enough, you don't have to have something so extraordinary. People just want to know you, just be original, just be authentic. You know, you could just tell them uh, you, your life story, just some very funny stories that you think people wouldn't pay attention to. You'll be so surprised that you will get audience for such topics. Just, just be consistent. That is something about making money online. Be consistent. You need to be persistent. You need to continue to deliver value, however it is deliver and um, bring resources that are you know tailored for members only you know this thing about people wanting to be in a setting um uh i don't know a cadre that is you know just them you know so people would want to if you have some resources that is very useful to them they want to be members and then they are there on subscription that's where a way you can make money uh console Notation. I think I saw a post by someone in one of the groups I am in. Uh, someone posted a question in the group and she just, you know, answered. This person answered the question and some other person was like, please, can you help me to do what you said about this question? And she was like, I'm not doing it free. You have to pay me for it. And I said, okay, please send me your number. Now you'll be so be with your business somebody wants to know about it it could be with uh, mini importation it could be with anything you are doing that people who are, are wanting to make money they want to do you can put the services online nowadays they have whatsapp tutorials where you can you know join a whatsapp group through a link that is given to after you have made payment and get all the you know information that you need to get pertaining to whatever you are looking for yes so uh these are digital products you can just you know design a kind of syllabus or whatever uh a module for people to learn a certain field okay Uh, it seems, goodness, um, today our technology is getting the best of us. Eno, I hope you can hear me. Uh, you're a little frozen. Um, can I, Are you able to hear me? And uh, yeah, yes, Osara, I think Sarah, you can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. I think Eno is having uh, some challenges like I am, yeah. uh, it's raining crazy here. <laughs> I think that's responsible. Okay. But but anyway, we can just chat along and you know can join us later. I, I was I was about to yeah. say uh, the other time that um, also, I, and I'm picking this up from where and I said um, some people may be camera shy, and that's the truth. You know, uh, we all have our strengths and. For many of us, uh, our strengths may not be staying in front of a camera and showing the whole world uh, our private lives, but there are some people who will put pen to paper and create amazing write-ups that will generate a lot of followings. I mean, take a look at platforms like Quora and Reddit. You've got people doing amazingly well, you know, just by writing contents that are captivating and that are productive all right the thing yes. about reddit yeah uh 
Valerie? No, keep going, keep going. Yeah. All right, yeah. So, oh, you're urging me on. Thank you. <laughs> All right, yes. yeah. So, yeah. So, Reddit narrators, I mean, global um, success stories and African success stories have achieved this success by curating really captivating stories. And, and the way the platform is run is that the more upvotes you get, I mean, the more captivating your story is, the more upvotes you get, the higher you get, I mean, you're seen by more people. So you you have to be creative uh, to be able to get higher. And, and this is what people are doing. And, and you know, and I was saying, uh, you don't just put contents out there. You, you've got to put a lot of work into this and, and persistence and the patience to see the fruits. Uh, there are some contents we see out there that look so easy but exciting you don't want to know the amount of work and time that i've been put to create in them so let's get back to a reddit um so people create contents and they make them very engaging and stimulating and instantly they get followers and people just want to wait for the next content that they will dish out so these narrators demonstrate the kind of power of storytelling that we previously will see in the traditional novels and studying school, books of rhymes, but now we can access them from almost everywhere just by sitting in front of our computers and looking at them. So uh, the Reddit narrators produce high quality narrations and intriguing stories that they source from their head or just from anything happening around them. And they mix it up with things that would benefit those that are reading it so that they would, the readers would always want to look for more content from them. And by consistently delivering these contents and captivating the listeners uh, or the users of these contents or even the readers, many Reddit narrators have built dedicated communities uh, and mm. just just communities of people sitting down there waiting for the next content from them. And this tells us a lot in personal branding. So it, it is a brand that you've created for yourself when people will sit and wait for you to bring us something that they mm. notice or are used to you bringing out and that stands out and attracts a large following. So I would say that consistency and persistence are the two key words that help us to embellish this inborn talent for writers. And this helps them to translate the art of writing into the science of making money over all these platforms. So, uh, oh. Uh, oh, and it's back. I, I, I don't want to take over the back. Thanks, so Sarah. And yes, yeah. I know you're back. Um, as we wait to. Yeah, this, yeah. I'm, I'm back. I'm back. I apologize for that. Uh, leave it to out for mine. No problem. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, yes. you're loud and clear. Yeah, can you hear me? All right, thanks for the feedback, Valerie. Okay, I was talking about uh, some of the ways we make money online that is not, you know, showing your face. Uh, now we are more into the gig economy, um, looking towards the freelancing um, side of it, where people can work from home, okay? You do not have to uh, get employed, I mean, uh, formally write an application later to get a job and uh, you wait to do a, an interview and uh, get scored by the employer before you get a job. No, you don't need any of those now in this digital economy. Okay, so if you know you have skills, there are platforms where you can showcase what you have and make money. We have Upwork, we have Fiverr. This is a platform where if you are a graphic designer, for me, I'm hands-on on, on a lot of things. That's why you call me a multifaceted individual. All right, so you are good with graphics. You can go to Fiverr. You can go to Upwork. There are so many of them. Uh, 
you go there to sell these as a gig okay you put your brand out there you put what you do out there and then you design a method of um how do i put this you design uh a plan uh there's a word they would use for that uh a plan for whatever product you have okay you could be a writer you could be uh an editor a proofreader so many things you can do on freelance all right so many things as um funny or as trivial as even giving advice people just want to talk to somebody and they pay them to listen to them. You get such gigs on this platforms I'm talking about. For more information, you can reach out to us at the end of this program and we'll give you as much information. We are here to serve. We are here to contribute our beat to our society. We want to see a change. We want to see people survive regardless of the economic um, downturn or situation in wherever you are. There are so many ways around it. Um, and this is what we are talking about, uh, freelancing, the gig economy, Take it, um, explore that. You can definitely make a living from that. People are creating content. People are in the gig economy. They are making livelihood that they cannot make ordinarily when they are working under any establishment. So um, I will still go ahead to give you one or two more um, affiliate marketing uh, kind of related to the drop shipping now affiliate marketing or let's use the word drop shipping uh there are two different things but they are just a bit uh related in what they actually are okay so the drop shipping side of it there are people who have this inventory the goods um people go online to shop they want to buy shoes they want to buy bags they want to buy anything they can get on social media once you open the facebook marketplace there are items everywhere you will see your friends everybody is on their status posting one item or the other they are, share, they are selling one branded item or the other you know so sometimes you wonder i've been in that part as well so i can tell you authoritatively what it's like to drop ship now, as a dropshipper, you do not have these items. You don't have the inventory. Uh, so you are partnering with somebody who has this inventory and you are selling on behalf of those people. But whoever your customers are, are thinking that it's you who has it. So when you post these things on your social media handles, your statuses, wherever you post them, people see them and they place order. All you have to do is to forward the order to whoever is going to fulfill that order. And they are going to send it to your customer on your behalf. All right. So that is about dropshipping. People are still making a livelihood. I know more than than you know a lot of people more than a handful of people who are into that and are very comfortable doing that that's about drop ship, uh, drop shipping and online courses if you know you have you know the flair to teach if you are someone who talks like me uh yeah you like to teach you like to impart knowledge yes online is a good place for you to do so um there is coffee chat uh that was one that came up uh, where is this guy from? From Northern Africa. That's the, the the brain behind that platform, Coffee Chat, and some other places. We have uh, uh, Groupino. It's a platform where you can go to um, sell courses. Okay, any kind of course that people are interested in, in digital marketing courses. Whatever thing that you need to upskill, you get them on this platform. There are a lot I want to talk so, but I need to have some um, input from other um, like of my co-hosts. So I'll come back later with more insight on monetization. We are here for you. Stay tuned. Oh goodness, Eno, thank you. I mean. Um, we will definitely be sharing. You've got a wealth of information that you've shared right now, and we will be sharing that with our audiences after uh, this chat. And um, it's so interesting. You know, when we think of content creation, a lot of it seems to be uh, video-based. Like, what can we do on video so people can see us? Uh, but you've just expanded this conversation and showed us that uh, how to make money online is way beyond a content creation. Uh, you can be of service somewhere. And I mean, when you mentioned something as simple as listening to other people, whatever it is that you're able to fit into, there's a niche that's waiting for you. 
um, where you're able to actually monetize whatever you have, even if it's just the ability to take a little time and listen. I mean, that is uh, fantastic. Um, and I think what I would add to that is the biggest challenge many people have is starting, um, you know, beginning the process. Um, it takes years uh, in some cases. Some people are lucky and it takes them shorter time. But the importance of starting should not be underestimated. Um, start and perfect once you've started. Start and learn. And as you go along, you're able to continue to build and make better what you're producing and sharing uh, when it, you're online. So if you have an idea, if you have something that you're passionate about, just start um, and you'll find you typically in today's world, you don't need as much as before. Your camera is there on your phone. Your phone is there with a microphone. It can capture your video, your audio. Um, yeah, <laughs> if you need your computer and the like, you can start from there. I mean, this is Africa. Let's not make it complex, <laughs> you know? We like things simple and straightforward. And um, so I'm seeing that we are actually coming to the end of our time and there's so much to talk about. Um, but what I'll do is just ask you, Osaro, if you don't mind going first and sharing some closing comments you have from our talk today, you know, what has stood out, what do you want to leave people with uh, today? All right, thank you very much, Valerie, and amazing. And uh, thank you so much for uh, dishing out such practical tips that a lot of people would otherwise pay for, but you've done this, and you can only get this and we table it. We give our free stuff, and that is because of our commitment to see positive change in our world today and be an instrument for such change. And I mean, if you happen not to be uh, watching us live and you're re-watching this and you need further uh, information, tips on how to take your passion of online content creation to the next level, we would love to hear from you. We've got expertise here. I mean, Valerie, our moderator, she's just uh, an expert personnel in not just online content creation, but anything to do with putting out your services and marketing them out to the people that you want to reach. Uh, uh, NR is someone who's accomplished in curating contents and in turning, spinning almost anything into money. So you've got um, a rich blend of people on WeTable Lead. You've got uh, a body face who is behind the camera now making this show happen. He's, he's, he's just uh, one in a million when it comes to a lot of talents. So we have a team that can put out your talent out there and help you put together the passion that you've created. Whatever ideas you have, whatever business, however simple it is, and you think you need a platform to showcase yeah. it to the world, you can reach us and we'll do our best to help you get to your destination. I would also like to say that influencer marketing uh, is a thing now people who have been successful in generating a large following are using this market to make more money. I mean, from the large following. I, I don't even want to talk about AI, I mean, AI influencers now. I mean, I'm pretty sure uh, you know that they are AI influencers now. Pseudo influencers, they are not humans, but they've got large following and people are making money from them. In summary, in Africa, we find out that for you to generate this large following and make a success out of your content creation, you need to be authentic. You need to be unique and make your audience trust you or whatever recommendations you're putting out there. So authenticity and trust is a key factor. And I think about the African audience, and, and by the way, a lot of our followers are located in Africa physically, and so that's why we are uh, once in a while mentioning her. I mean, but content, you know, is ideal for almost anybody around the globe. But in Africa, 
content creators that are successful seem to understand the culture of multiplicity in Africa and the preferences for their audience. And this helps to enable brands to create tailored campaigns uh, and adverts that will be placed on these contents. And this helps to improve market initiatives. All right, so, uh, uh, so uh, in a nutshell, uh, we're here for you. We're here for your ideas, your business, your passion. We're just a dial away. Uh, click on a message and type us a message or give us a call and help you to revitalize business idea, help you repackage it and put it out there. Uh, and, and, and this, this is. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Today, um, in, more of you in subsequent projects. <laughs> Thanks, Osaro. Uh, towards the end, you broke up uh, a little bit. Okay. Is Valerie I think we or Anna. Yes, I'm, yes, we captured most of what you shared. Um, oh, your I was network muted. was a little towards the end. No, 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 you weren't. Um, it was just a bit of network instability, but it's all right now. Um, and Eno, I'll come to you now as you, you know, you've left us oh, so right. much to talk about. <laughs> yes. Um, Eno, do you have any uh, closing remarks? for our followers who are looking to make money uh, here in Africa. You're, you're also on mute, so you'd need to uh, unmute. Yes. Oh, all right. I hope you all can hear me. I have more than a closing remarks on this topic. We have not done justice, trust me. Okay, what am I prepared you. to um, let you guys know today? I have not even done up to 20%. I haven't done up to 20% of it. So I, I think we should have another session where we can demystify um, knowledge on how to make money online. All right. So I'm going to leave you guys with some tips on how to build a consistent um, um sorry, Eno, for some reason you're muted again. Uh, please unmute. We're missing. Yes, there you oh, go. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Okay, so I was saying, uh, I want to give you guys tips on building a consistent online presence. That's very important. Whatever you're doing online, being be it uh, creating contents uh, for humor, lifestyle, whatever it is, you know, coming uh, face to face with your audience, doing videos or the other side of it, doing freelancing, doing gigs on every of this platform like Upwork, or like Rupino, like um, Coffee Chat, wherever it is you want to put your gigs on. One thing is certain for you to make business, take this home, please. You need to be consistent with your brand, with whatever you are doing, okay? Consistent, visual consistency. Uh, you should, you know, develop a content strategy. Make sure that everything is well aligned. You have strat uh, your strategy tailored to your audience. Okay, uh, you are not doing something uh, that, for instance, you are doing a uh, humor, and at the end of the day, uh, whatever you are doing is not suited for those who want to watch humor so you need to be very consistent in what you are doing if you are starting with a know that this is a you are doing okay you cannot be all over the place uh, this is very important information for somebody you need to choose your niche okay this is where what we mean by brand consistency uh you need to have your social media engagement OK, you have to invest time and um, invest um, energy in making sure your social media platform are uh, keeping you in touch with people who are looking forward to whatever you have to give to them. OK, so you need to meet your audience somewhere where they want you to meet them. 
all right? So wherever you are on social media, Facebook, on Instagram, read it, wherever you are, make sure that you have content that is tailored to this kind of platform. Know you this, that sometimes some of this content are suited specifically for a kind of platform and it's not suited for another platform. So you need to have content strategy so that you can tailor this out for the different uh, platform. Uh, optimize your user experience. For those of you who have a website, those who want to go into e-commerce, make sure that your website is up and running or your app are in good condition. Make sure you have consistent messaging. All right, so make sure that whatever you are doing, when they open Facebook, they are having the same feel as when they go to Instagram on this page, it's the same feel. When they go to TikTok, you can feel, you can be able to tell that this is what this brand is about. All right, so, uh, um, monitor and adapt, monitor your audience, monitor what they want and adapt. These are just a few tips I will give for now. We'll look uh, at the possibility of coming up with um, another session yet on monetization because we know a lot of you are wanting to do something about earning online. I can see a comment from Sinzo Rupia. She says, I love to teach online. Yes, we can guide you. We'll come up with lots of resources for you so that you can be able to make a living or make something online. All right, so that's that for now. Um, I'll leave it to um, Valerie to help us conclude on this uh, session of broadcast. Thank you. All right. Oh, gosh. Thank you, Bo. Yeah. Thank you, Osaro. Thank you, Eno. Yes, sorry. Uh, Great. Yes. Uh, Valerie, before you go ahead, uh, apologies. I, I, I'm just seeing this comment from uh, Rupia. Uh, yes, her comment on uh, yeah, teaching so online. She says, I love to teach online. Brilliant. Uh, I don't want us to take this for granted. Uh, since your passion is teaching. Uh, oh, no. I, I'm, get, I'm getting this mixed up. All right. So uh, am I on now? Yes, you are. Okay. All right, great. So, uh, since Zori Rupia, you like to teach. Great, and I saw that, which is good. So, um, you've got platforms that can help you. Uh, we'll guide you. I think uh, on the backstage, uh, we can privately uh, communicate with you and tell you how to deploy this passion. And who knows, you might be smiling to the back in no time. So, I mean, the tools that you need and uh, the motivation that you need to get this going, uh, we can do for you. Uh, however, the content will, should be entirely yours. You need to create things that are uh, unique, impactful, and most especially consistent. So it means that you can create contents that will will start the test of time. You can always do this uh, frequently on the same topics or topic area or subject matter uh, for a long time uh, so that your audience will always be engaged. So uh, I think we can take that privately, Edo Valerie, uh, with Rupia uh, backstage. Okay, I, I just needed to say that. Thank you so much, Valerie. You can close the show now. Thanks, Osaro. Um, and my goodness, as you, both of you, I think, have touched on, this is one of those topics that has, uh, I'll say that has legs. There's so many elements to explore within the topic. And we've tried to touch on as much as we can within the hour, but we know it's definitely something we will come back to and just give more depth and more insight on that. I think um, my, my um, closing shot for anybody who's looking at content creation and especially to make money from it is uh, now when you're choosing your platform, you can find platforms that are particularly skewed towards monetizing your content. So on YouTube, there's an option where after you've gained a certain audience, people can become members of your channel, pay a monthly subscription, you're able to generate income from there. There are platforms like Patreon, 
where it's possible for you people to subscribe and generate, um, you can generate income from there. And I will say this in a little whisper, there is only fans, um, which for <laughs> adult entertainers, but they also have other uh, content where people are able to subscribe and uh, you can generate income from there as well. So look for those types of opportunities as well, subscription options. Um, they will help to stabilize your income um, in terms of how much you can expect to receive uh, from your platforms in a month. And uh, yes, there are all the other avenues, um, getting enough likes, uh, followers, people watching your content are all different ways that you can generate, especially from social media. And uh, yes, yeah, so thank you for uh, being with us today. Thank you for listening to our talk. Uh, we appreciate you. And once we finish the talk here, if you want to watch it again, you'll, it'll be possible on all of our platforms, uh, which is linked, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Twitter, yes, TikTok. <laughs> We're on all the platforms, so you'll be able to rewatch. And one more time, I'll ask you to please like, uh, follow, subscribe to our content. And we look forward to catching up with you next week when we have our next Coffee Chatter. Uh, so for today, wishing you a fantastic afternoon and goodbye from us at We Table It.